Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Race Face Drive in 5 here on RaceFace.tv. As always, Jacob Seelman with you and back with Clayton Otto on this edition. And I know you were excited about your month of June because we get to come back with this episode, Clayton, and talk about you winning some races. Three feature wins in the month of june and i know you're just happy that your cars are finally running the way you want them to run i know there's been a lot of setup stuff going on and some gremlins that you guys have been trying to figure out do you feel like the cars are, are finally finally back to where you need them to be yes for sure we we just practiced last night and they were spot on we still have to set up the one car for nationals. We're we're driving out today after this call, so it's gonna be fun. Let's go back. I mean, your home track at Keystone has been really, really good to you um, for about the last month or so. You had the animal win uh, back on June tenth, and you actually had a double victory uh, just a couple weeks ago. Talk to me about all of that because I know for you just getting those wins and getting back to victory lane, reminding yourself, Hey, <laughs> we, we can do this um, has given you a lot more confidence again. Yeah, it sure has. Those wins were, that was like the start of me, like actually finding my groove again. That was like the actual like start of it. Like I actually found it. And now we're just getting better with the cars like working it, working all the kinks out, just finding different stuff to fix, and so then we can win. Talk to me about the uh, the sweep a couple weeks ago. You ran light 160 and you ran senior animal. I know you've had you know success in multiple divisions before, but it's been a long time since you've been able to celebrate two wins in a single night, hasn't it? It has been. The, the last time I did it was like last year. <laughs> So it was a while ago. It was, I don't remember where I started in those cars, mm -hmm. but I remember that I had, I was starting in the back. I, I was going to say, but both races, uh, your heat races didn't necessarily go so well, but when the features came around, you were able to come from the back right to the front. Yeah. What's sure. what is that like for you? I know obviously when you run at your home track, you're familiar with it. You know what you need to do. But for somebody who hasn't really, you know, for fans who don't really follow quarter midget racing as much, it's not as easy as you think, is it, to uh, to run up through traffic like that? Talk about what you have to do when you're starting at the back to work your way forward. Well, passing, you can't, like, you. it's hard because if you bump somebody a little bit too hard, they'll spin out and you'll have, go, have to go back to the back. So you have to bump your, they, you have to bump them going in the corner entry. So, you, so they just slide up the track off their line or before the corner. And, and that's, so you can slide under them. Right. And, that, and that's because particularly at Keystone, there's really only one fast groove. You guys are all fighting for, for that bottom lane and fighting for space, aren't you? Yeah. I know you, you mentioned you've got nationals coming up, uh, coming up this weekend. Where are you going to be? Talk about uh, the track, what you're excited about as far as getting back to the track and, and really having a, a big race here this month. Well, I'm racing at Pocono. It's right outside the big track, so you get to hear all the NASCAR haulers coming in. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Um, there is, it's a triangle. It looks exactly like the big track. I just raced there in two cars about a week ago, so I think I'm, and I'm pretty confident that I'm going to do well there. It, is fun. that, it, does it feel more special? I know you've raced it at uh, Little Pocono some this season. Does it feel more special being able to go there on NASCAR weekend and know that, hey, I'm I'm right here, right where the guys that I'm dreaming of being at someday are, are running? Yeah, it's cool because also they have like the Grand Marshal. It's going to be uh, Chris, Chris Buescher. Or no, not Chris Buescher. It's going to be like Chase Briscoe. Okay. 
And then we get to walk the big track. Oh, see, now that's a lot of... Do they have you walk the entire big track or just a yes. portion of it? Oh, my the gosh. Entire. Two and, a, two and a half miles worth of walking, and I'm sure for you it's fun, but that's one of those where, okay, you don't want to get too tired out because obviously you still got a race. Yeah, I ran it last year. <laughs> of course you did. Um, how many classes are you running this weekend, Clayton? Are you just are you running the same two classes, or are you running all four of your normal classes? All four. It's the Nationals. So. Okay, so rem remind your fans which four classes you're running this weekend. Senior Honda, Senior Animal, Light 160, and Light World Formula. Okay. And I think we're going to add a car next year. Oh, <laughs> boy. So, so <laughs> as if you weren't already busy enough, you'll be even more busy, huh? Yeah, we already have the car. It's my old Senior Honda. Okay. Okay. It's going to be a Formula fun. Mod. Ooh. Okay. So, tell, tell me about that division and what's different compared to the classes you're already running because I know um, formula mods a lot newer than the classes that we're familiar with I'm not racing it yet maybe next year but okay that car it's a modified formula okay so, so it's really fast similar to your light world formula just with with a little some tweaks to it yeah and no rev limiter. Okay. Okay. So no rev limiter means as if you weren't feeling like you were going fast enough. I know race car drivers like to go fast. So even faster is always a plus. Yeah. <laughs> Except it's hard to drive because they only, you only race right. those at nationals and regionals. Okay. Okay. Talk to me about Pocono for a second. You mentioned that obviously it's a small triangle like the big track. Is are are there different things you have to do driving wise to be fast there compared to your home track at Keystone? Yeah, you have to take those the lines way different, the corners are way different, everything's different, like the break zones, let off zones, going into the corners because it's it's exactly like the big track but smaller. Do you have to kind of retrain your brain a little bit when you've got three corners at Little Pocono compared to four corners everywhere else? No, because I, I race Pocono a lot and it's okay. fun. So you're familiar with it. Um, mm -hmm. What what else have you got going on later this month? I know um, Keystone is still running some this month. Are you going uh, an anywhere else besides Pocono and Keystone? Or are you kind of focusing on your home tracks here for a bit? I don't know if the there's a regional at Blackbird, which is in Delaware. Okay. So po uh, possibly Blackbird. Yeah, I don't know if it's, I don't know if the regional is this month or next month. So. Okay. Well, I, we know you'll keep us posted on that, and I know you're getting ready to travel, so we'll let you get ready to do that. Before we go, though, talk to me. Uh, give your sponsors a shout out. Anybody you need to say thank you to for uh, getting you to the racetrack. Thank you, Esposito Construction, Level 10 Development, Friends of Jacqueline, um, King Willie Studios, Lacey Photography, I think, so many, Hoffman Pediatric Dentistry, uh, can't remember anymore, and then all the race face ones. <laughs> and, three that and mom and dad. Don't forget about yeah. mom and dad, right? Yes. <laughs> I, I know your your mom's running around getting you guys ready to go. So if if we didn't give them a shout out, uh, she'll fuss at you later, huh? Yeah. All right, Clayton. I know you're busy and excited about it. We'll let you go get ready to race, and uh, we'll plan on seeing you again in a couple weeks, and hopefully, hopefully, talking about a few more wins. Okay. That's Clayton Otto. My name's Jacob Seelman. This has been another Race Face Drive in 5. We'll see you next time on RaceFace.tv and keep it tuned to the website for all the latest news in motorsports.